Marble Triss. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Uh, wait, how are you recording all this? On OBS. Oh yeah, I forgot. Man. That's what we use. All right. For some reason, I thought you were only recording audio on OBS, but then I forget OBS doesn't record itself, so that's why every time you open it, there wasn't a new video. So. And we're not using a capture card, so that's also like half the. Right. This this is actually a very cool level because it's like Tetris basically. But if you're really bad at Tetris, I guess. So, me. Well. All right. I will admit. I was gonna say you're better than us. There are know. two games that I will admit that my dad is way better than me at. Space slide. Tetris and Plants vs Zombies two. Actually, no, Plants vs Zombies one. Okay, so uh, we didn't get to see because I I breezed through the materials lab a little bit too quickly, but. Space, basically, you don't have any traction. You literally have 1% of your original, like... Just go slide, baby. Ski-ball bonus. You get to play ski-ball. Uh -oh, this is looking like some Mario flashbacks. Oh, well, you tried. Oh, well, you tried. Right. <laughs> oh, well, you tried. Okay. I think there is a qualifying time, and the, like, higher up you can go, the more time it knocks off the clock. That's fine. Minus eight. Immediately waste eight seconds trying to get like back into position. Okay, the speed run thing that I saw this guy do, he literally like went off the side, so he didn't even go on the ski ball. He like flew around like that way and landed on here. It's like <coughs> how do you do this? Alright. Cough. Ooh, actually, I have a question. Are we gonna do uh, we tanks tonight? Uh, not tonight. Um, Sad play hours. All right, this is a fun level because you just get all the power ups to mess around with. They're just kind of gems at random places. Just randomly super jump. Oh no, I don't want the super jump. I want the most OP power up, the Jeez. gyrocopter. Okay, so do you remember when we played, um... Gold. No, it wasn't gold. We played Marble It Up. Yeah. There was that one power-up that was, like, the wing that made you, like, basically float. Yeah. That's the gyrocopter in this game, but, like, even more control than it gave you there. Remember you trying to speedrun skip a level for, like, ever and failing miserably? I got it on my third try. No, you didn't. I did. Oh wait, I actually want to go on this one. Yeah, if, if, if you can like hear the sounds on my keyboard, you have to do a lot of button presses really fast in this game. See, that's five. What in the heck? Of ten? Of ten, yeah, there's just an upside down one over here. Uh, you, you good there, monsieur? I just I don't like. Mm, I don't think I'd like having to get ten of these. They just seem really obnoxious to get. Yeah, kinda. Think about tiled textures, though. So you know where things are gonna be. Just gotta make the jump. All right, and and I have to like. Now have fun trying to find that. The finish thing is like... Alright, so... Do you have any like stories or anything that you could be Well, I'm trying to remember one that I was like beginning to tell you guys in the car. Well... Why'd you forget it? Because I wasn't thinking about it. Because I wasn't remembering it. All right, what was I talking? What were we talking about right after we got McDonald's? Um, dude, I don't even know. We we're talking about how the, we got the Beats and the Pony movie and the actual. That was before we got there. Way before, and that was all you. I'm all right. Just a conversation let me let happen. me show you how powerful the gyrocopter is. You're supposed to go up these like three little platforms and slide down the hill and whatever. You can skip that.
And they expect you to do that, I assume. Probably. Okay, so one... Yeah, they do. (laughs) So, (coughs) the original, like, Marble Blast, like, the first one ever, was made, obviously, before Gold. Gold is just, like, a better edition. The developers, like, already learned about a lot of the bullcrap you can do. Um, So, they, like, put the gold time in. So, if you're, like, a pro gamer, um, you can... Like me, Alton says... Well, no, I, I was gonna, like, make the Simon joke of, like, if, if they're real gamers like us. <laughs> oh, Simon, poor Simon. Well... But also, he has to know what he's doing to himself. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how much sympathy I want to give, because it's like, when you make uh-huh. that comment unironically of, like, we are real gamers, and nine-year-olds who play Fortnite aren't, with no joke, no irony, nothing... How much sympathy do you expect one to have? Five. I am personally, I couldn't necessarily go above three, but. <laughs> five couldn't go above anything. anything. What are you talking about? Don't you have emotions? No sympathy. No. I'm an emotionless being. The inner oh my is in my mind or anything, but. Half pipe. Losers. That looks like a genuinely fun level. <laughs> yeah, you get the fireworks sound effect. It's kind of hard to hear because we have our speakers way down, but... Well... Oh, they also did this and hit a thing behind spawn. That just kind of lets you go. Oh. Ah, I couldn't slow down in time. I just use it immediately. I'm going to... If you can, like, get lucky... And ramp it off the marble because like you don't want to hit the platform like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow! I, like I said, you should probably start the boost immediately after the starting platform. I think if I just don't jump, yeah, because you can like jump at really stupid times and it just for whatever reason just accelerates your velocity into heaven it's just a wee little ball uh, uh. Uh. whoa 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 didn't know there was a ceiling there do you have there. to restart now? no i don't I, I have a minute to do it just give me the thingy Give me my Not immediately like activate that out of it. You can. I just want to like line it up because otherwise you do that. <laughs> Dude, I have ten seconds. I really don't have any good stories right Woo. now. I'm trying. <sighs> no good stories. I thought I called you Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, was I going to talk about three houses or something? No. Like, oh, no, I will talk about this because Aiden's right next to us. And uh, Aiden basically told Hayden Bear, uh, one of his friends, like, if you watch JoJo's, I'll watch My Hero. And so I was telling Hayden that he needed to start watching JoJo's. And he he's said... He's finishing Death Note right now. Oh, okay. And he's like, okay. And then we literally spent like the next couple of minutes talking to Bryson and a couple other people specifically about some of the quirk powers in it. (laughs) And like Bryson didn't know what in the world was going on, but he was totally into it for some reason. How does my hero even work? Like I've I've tried to figure that out. 80% of the population has a superpower. That sounds like a very high percentage, and also very sucky for the people who don't. <laughs> kind of, but some of them Imagine are really being in the 20%. Uh, well, the main character is actually in the 20%. It's actually just, it's probably just like freaking stand abilities. Yes. That's a restart. No. From what I've heard, it kind of is, and there's one that's literally just like... Um, a stand? Yeah, it's, it's basically just a stand reference. Oh yeah, um, Dark Shadow. Yeah. Well, it's even, like, some of the abilities are very similar to the stand abilities. Like, isn't there one who can, like, charge objects and make them explode? Mm, What? Like, basically Kira? No. 
There's someone that can make objects that explode. So, well, she can literally Lake make Kira. She, there was the girl in the red leotard that. Oh yeah, playing. that that one. Momo. Yeah, she can just make stuff out of like wastes in her body. So basically, you never really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, well, that's a very odd perk. Um, actually, now that work, and there is a guy that can make his his sweat is just nitroglycerin. So he literally can blow up like his sweat. He can he sweats the nitroglycerin like substance and then he can blow it up if he wants to. Like Yeah. Huh. Let's see, what else? We had an argument about it in the Instagram group chat. Oh no channel. no, yeah, he told us about that, and I totally believe my hero would beat out uh JoJo's in power. There is literally no way my hero would beat out JoJo's. I was there, there, say is, scene. there is a character that if you talk to him at all, even if it's like a small noise, he can immediately take control of you. But the thing is, most of the JoJo's cast wouldn't talk to him. They would. They talk so much in fights. Jotaro wouldn't talk to him. D okay, yes, Jotaro he would. Jotaro would probably talk to him one of the most. No, he would. What are you? Well, probably after he's already probably call, dead. He'd, he'd probably call him something and then start beating him up. And before he could start beating him up. And also, isn't it canonically, it canonically true that Golden Experience is, like, the most powerful one or something? Golden Experience Requiem is literally the most powerful thing in the history of anime. Alright, um, cool. Well, so Giorno can just say literally anything. But the thing is, stands are different. You can have control over someone's body, but I don't think you can have control over their, like, will or soul. Alright, ready? Ready, ready for this? You, you, you ready for this? Here, Aiden, if you're gonna part have this three. discussion, scoot in a little bit, so we'll make, All right, make you Alright, part better. three. Remember, remember the second half of part three? Which part are you referencing? Anubis. Who was that? Oh, the old lady? No, the stand. But Anubis was a stand, so yeah, it would make sense stands. they can take control of stands. But someone, like my hero, they wouldn't even see the stands. They yeah, wouldn't they have wouldn't any... Even, they wouldn't be able to know Dark Shadow's a stand. But it's not actually a stand. It is, it's not like actually a stand. It doesn't follow the same laws and rules that but stands does it, do. So, so the JoJo characters would know what the My Hero characters were doing. But the My Hero characters wouldn't be able to tell what the JoJo characters are so doing. So here's the thing, right? Like, I'm pretty sure any of the JoJo's or any of the main villains would be able to pretty much clean up the entirety. Like, think about it. Dio stops time... <laughs> Well, freaking deletes everyone. King Crimson just deletes time. Yeah. <laughs> King Crimson just hits the control it just, it just works. delete. <laughs> Kira can just make them die instantly, and so can Golden Experience Requiem, but on a more serious note. Um, they they don't die it? funnily, they die seriously. Yeah. No, no, they, they die infinitely. Like, they, they never stop dying is the thing. Wait, what? Yeah. It's, he, like, puts them into an infinite death loop where they die in every so, conceivable way possible. So, you basically mean purgatory. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, there's the last he, He's literally the most powerful, one of the most powerful things in anime. Also, I bring up the fact that there's the guy that can control literally anyone that he talks to. Oh, there's also one that can go inside of uh, people and control them that way. Ooh. There's just, Ooh, like, so he like turns his body but into But Mr. Trump, wouldn't that make <laughs> you gay? <laughs> <laughs> The thing he's is, like none literally, of us would really know. He's one of the first villains ever introduced, and like he basically takes control of people by like going into their bodies. I so know like Cacuin? So what no. you're saying is that you're inside of another necklace. More like <laughs> more like Aqua Necklace. Great divide. Okay, let me show you something funny with this level. It's called Break the Entire Freaking Game Engine. <laughs> Just <a> blue screen. <laughs> do I have to do it? Oh, th this one doesn't go low enough. I can't do it, but <laughs> Um, there's like another version of the Great Divide where you can like get stuck in between like two platforms and it freaking launches you all the way to the finish if you can control it right. <laughs> sick. <coughs> Wicked sick dude. Wicked. <clears throat> oh, I see that you're a Dio right now. Yeah, time travel. You can stop the clock. Um, it, it activated. Yet the... Yotaza, and then I haven't memorized what he says after that next part. What you mute? No, no, that's it's like so sticky something. Kono diovalo da, which is actually a line. Kono diovala. Kono, you know Kono dioda. Yeah. Kono diovalo da. Is that like a part four? It's part five. Five, you know. No, no, it's part four. You were right. 
Wait, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Diovalo is just a different character in general. Yeah. Yeah, and he's like... Okay, I, I don't want to spoil too much, You but... really think I care? Uh, not really. As long as you're not caring... Alright, the only reason that I cared uh, when I got spoiled for three houses is because I knew what happened going up to the point. If I didn't know what went on up to that point, I wouldn't have cared. But since I knew, I was upset about it. Okay, Dalton, continue. What anyway, say? yeah, the fight between... Because Diavolo is like another villain. The fight between Kira and Diavolo is freaking sick. Because, you know, Kira can be the only villain. Um, and, you know... Oh, oh wait, I gotta show you guys the space program, so there's kind of a glitch with this one where if you go into like the very corner, I really hope they didn't fix this in the new physics engine because this was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> a zoom. Ready, go. Zoom. Ready, set, go. Oh, that's a baseball. But anyway, yeah, once you get to that part in part four, that's when it really heats up. I mean, it literally starts out with a hand. Part four, I mean. It did? Oh, I guess it did. Yeah. Well, he was in, like, the first few episodes, but it didn't literally start out. How are you possibly going to take 28 seconds on that? The cool thing is you could be part eight and not have a main villain yet. All well, right. They're, like, 38 chapters in, and they still don't have a main villain. Let me show you the uh, just peak level design here. So what you're supposed to do is, like, go outside, and, oh, I got sucked in. Well, I guess I can't win. Oh, well... Here, here's what like literally anyone with a brain does. I'm literally just going to hold the W key. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> <laughs> Us real gamers just hold the W button. Here's what anyone with a brain would do dies. Well, I didn't understand <laughs> that it would um somehow be freaking stupid, and I did. Uh, imagine out. being Martin W. Oh God, this level. <laughs> NASCAR. Alright, Monster Speedway. This, this level shouldn't be intermediate, but it is. That. <laughs> I don't know how. Roll in there and then use it on the side. Yeah, no, there was like something that Rolling I saw where someone was able to like speed. stick to the wall basically, and I'm not sure how they did that. Go. I'm gonna need those time travels because there isn't gonna be any other way for me to get this in time. See, it's like, yeah, you, you can't really afford to slow down. I think it's like a 45-second qualifier. And you have to get all 15 gems. But if you hit these walls going too fast, then you kind of... That. Frick, yeah, I have to restart. It's a NASCAR. This is what Talladega Nights should have been. Hey, Talladega Nights was a good movie. It, it was a good movie. It was just All like... Right, actually, hold up. Back to our stand debate. Like, uh, I mean, oh, JoJo's okay. between... I remember Hayden said something about uh, one of the characters being able to see stands, and I'm like, wait, actually, yes, you're right. And I don't think it involved Dark Shadow. Um, How would they be able to see stands? Dark Shadow's a stand. If he's not a stand. He is a stand. He's not a stand. He is. Was he pierced by a stand arrow? Was jo was Jotaro? Jotaro was born with it. Right, so technically, so was he. He's had it since birth. Okay, so the thing is, you're wrong, and that's that. Oh! So, so the thing is. Oh, 45 seconds. I was oh. gonna say 39.99. Oh. <laughs> it was a 40 second timer. For three parents have 39 and a nine. All right, upward spiral. This one's kind of interesting. Wait, what exactly is the stand? Uh, the embodiment of one's soul, I guess. Exactly. Or will. You want to know what Dark Shadow is? It's a shadow that's dark. The thing is, though, it's an entirely different universe, so there's no way that it's actually a stand. <laughs> Let me just sit here and, just, <laughs> and, like, bask in my victory there. Even if you have all of those abilities, I still haven't gone all the way to part 8, so in between the time of 6 no, and 8... No, we're eight, talking about the anime. I, I haven't even gone into some of the powers in, uh... The comics that haven't been in the anime yet. The comics? What a non weeb. Oh, yeah, the freaking manga. The Shut up, nerd. No, you're the nerd. Spencer, you're the one that reads mangas. What? You've read more manga than I have. Bet. I am like halfway into part four, and that's it. No, part six. I'm, I was gonna say, I've wait, what? All right. You're on part only two. mangas I've read is the Pokemon ones. The Pokemon ones, which, which is more than me. I don't really count because. They're way different. 
we just finished intermediate so i'm gonna pause to check the time so that's gonna so, do it for this episode um any any other closing remarks on this fascinating debate that you would like to add <laughs> yes i have all right so i don't count the pokemon adventures for just because it's just so different here's what we're gonna do we're gonna ha comment down below who you think which universe would actually win jojo's or my hero we're talking we're talking about what has been shown in the animes thus far correct sure yes right. I'm, I'm still fully confident that jojo would MHA. be able to win. all right see you guys next time